find the equation of a curve when you're given dy by dx and a point along the curve, okay? So in this example, it says a curve is such that dy by dx is equal to 2x cubed minus 6 over x squared, and 3, 7 is a point on the curve. Find the equation of the curve. So hopefully you'll rem remember previously that when you're given dy by dx, if you integrate, you can then find the equation of the curve, okay? And this time, because we've been given a point along the curve, we can find the exact equation of the curve, so we can find the actual constant of integration c as well, okay? So I'm going to start by writing down dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to 2x cubed minus 6 over x squared. And before I integrate, I'm just going to rewrite this in its power form, okay? So if I simplify these terms here, 2x cubed divided by x squared is 2x. Remember, when you divide these x terms here, you're subtracting the powers. So 3 take away 2 is 1. So 2x power 1 is just the same as 2x, okay? And then if we rewrite this part, so negative 6 divided by x squared can be rewritten as minus x to the power of negative 2, okay? So I'm just rewriting dy by dx in its power form to begin with, okay? So now we're going to find the equation by integrating. So y is equal to the integral of dy by dx, so 2x minus 6x raised to the power of negative 2 with respect to x, okay? So remember, you're increasing the power on the x by 1 and you're dividing by the new power. So 2x is the same thing as 2x to the power of 1. So if I increase this power by 1, I get x squared. And remember, you're dividing this number by the new power, so 2 divided by 2 for the first term, okay? Then this term here, the power is negative 2. If I add 1, I get negative 1, okay? So you have x to the power of negative 1, and we're dividing negative 6 by the new power, which is negative 1. And then remember, you need to add your constant c. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite the equation and simplify. So y is equal to 2 divided by 2, which is 1, so we have 1x squared. Then over here, we have negative 6 divided by negative 1, which is positive 6. So we have positive 6x to the power of negative 1, although I think it's quite nice if you rewrite this not in power form, so 6 over x instead. Okay, it'll just be a bit clearer for the next step. And then here, not forgetting your plus c. Okay, so this is the equation so far. So what you have to do next is substitute in the coordinates that have been given in the question. So the x value needs to be replaced with positive 3, and the y value needs to be replaced with positive 7. Okay, so instead of y equals, and I'm just going to rewrite it here, we've got 7 equals. And these two x values here are replaced with 3. So instead of x squared, we have 3 squared. And then we have 6 over 3 plus c. Okay? So now we have an equation with only c as the unknown. So we can solve this equation to find the value of c. Okay? And then we'll have our equation. Okay? So 7 is equal to 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which is 9 plus 6 divided by 3, which is 2, plus c. Okay, so 9 plus 2 is 11. And then if I subtract 11 on both sides, I find that c is equal to negative 4. So just make sure you summarise at the end. So the equation of the curve is y equals x squared plus 6 over x. And then instead of plus c, we, we can now write minus 4, as that was the constant of integration. So there is the equation of the curve.